Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, I know that it has been a while that I have posted any consistent videos. Uh, for those who are, follow me, uh, who are following me on Facebook, probably you do know that I'm quite active on the Facebook and uh, pretty much um, you can find the link to my Facebook page into the uh, description down below. And uh, yeah, you feel free to uh, tune in for a uh, live streams and as well those live, stream are, live streams are containing a free readings. Now the reason why I haven't been a, um, in touch with you guys lately, <clears throat> it is because, um, as you probably know, I am uh, executing my own personal tarot classes. And now as uh, the main tarot class, which is the beginner tarot class, which is the beginner's tarot class, it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a on a recorded version currently. Uh, means that you can, uh, as soon as you contribute to it, you can uh, have it in your own pace. You are going to get access to the twelve hours of content lectures, which are including. Uh, or are containing a, the uh, profound explanation of the major arcana and uh, also how you can use those uh, major arcana in terms of uh, career, in terms of relationship, as well as if you are looking for those things also, uh, I mean career and relationship and also in the uh, various positions into the spread that I have uh, dedicated for the class and it's pretty much a, a spread that I am using myself as well in my professional readings. Uh, so at the end of this class, you are set to do your own uh, personal readings uh, in, or uh, private readings as well, hopefully. <clears throat> and uh, that is not all. You also are going to get a one personal, a free, uh, not, it's not free. It is within the uh, purchase, you know, one personal, a uh, coaching hour with me. Uh, whenever you do have questions, you want to practice, you know, uh, you want to ask me certain things that are, that's, uh, are pretty, uh, that you couldn't get your grab uh, um, upon uh, into the, uh, from the from the videos. Oh my God, what is so difficult to talk today. So yeah, uh, pretty much things that are, are, pretty, uh, are a bit vague and you could not understand from the videos, you can extensively ask me about them in this uh, particular hour. And as well, um, as usual, if you do want a personal reading with me, uh, you can just purchase one from my website. You can find it here into the uh, description down below. And once you uh, set your purchase, upon 24 hours, I'm gonna come back to you and um, via email that is and going to give you a uh, explanation how your reading is going to take place depending on the purchase uh, that you have placed so that being said uh enjoy the show uh, i hope that you do like the uh, monthly videos and here you go your star sign right so we do have a cancer sun cancer moon and as well cancer rising for general tarot reading of the month of july and uh let me shuffle the cards. We're gonna have a look at uh, what cancer we'll have to deal with. Now guys, uh, for that video, I'm going to uh, use the um, tarot spread that I mainly use for my private readings. And uh, I'm also gonna do something probably that I have never done before in front of video, or at least I uh, don't remember doing it. So I'm going to determine a time frame which the things from the month of July are going to unfold, right? So things that you do start in the month of July, what, what, how much time is gonna take for them to fully, fully unfold. So with that being said, let's, uh, Let's move to the reading. Now the first one here, that is going to be uh, the judgment, followed by the next one, ooh, look at that. So we do have the tower, followed by the king of uh, cups. And the last one that we do have, that is to be the queen of pentacles. So uh, that will be quite of an emotional roller coaster for you. Uh, it will give you, uh, the situation of the month of July is gonna give you a lot to think about okay uh, let me give you a time frame uh, because it's crucial here to know how much time you do have at your hand because at the end you will have to give an answer and pretty much from that answer will define you know it will be a vital for your future I'm not saying that if you do give there is no right or wrong answer in that case but that will be the uh, the game changer in terms of a future development 
and the time that you do have is um, months of July till just give me a second till the end of October okay so the most important card that we do have here that is the king of cups and what happens in the month of July is that a person comes around and either offers you help or it makes you an offer in general you know it could be a business offer or it could be a, a, a an offer to end up in a relationship with you now you don't have to rush it and as a matter of fact you will not want to rush it at all because uh, other indicators in the in the spread points that, that thing catches catches you completely completely unprepared and it actually shocks you now that can be seen into the uh, tower card into the second position here um, especially dangerous for those who are in a happy marriage or in a happy relationship because that truly could be someone that comes around and kind of divulges uh, in front of you, you know, what they feel and how they uh, can bring the world down in your knees. Now you need to know that that person doesn't come empty handed. I mean, he does have a lot to offer. He does put a lot on a stake here. And every normal individual would consider that offer. Right. I mean, if you, even if you do have an amazing job, that could be the competition offering you even more. Even if you do have amazing marriage, that could be a person that you fall in love back in the days. Things did not happen. And now he comes back and it's kind of like it, it, it pretty much um, punches you from within, you know, to do something about it. It, it pushes you to adopt it as an opportunity that comes only once in a lifetime here and it's and that is kind of true now we do have judgment at the very first position of the spread and it's points that that is the either help or the offer that you have waited for probably for the, for the entirety of your life and you ain't gonna have another one like this one okay you mm. may have better or worse but not like this one and so you alone Oh my God, you alone are going to hate yourself for the, being placed into that position. And what I mean here is, is that you're going to hate yourself, for example, being in a, a very good marriage, even considering, you know, that offer. Uh, even if you haven't give your decision yet, either you're going to make it or break it. Just considering that offer are going to make you to hate yourself. Same thing goes uh, in, term of a, uh, in term of a relationship. Now, the cards are pointing what will be the right choice here, but I, in general readings, that is, I do not make decisions for people. What I can uh, advise you, though, is to think about what has a, an unfound potential, okay? A potential that you thought have been reached, but still there is what to be done at that field. It could be with the uh, with that guy that comes, or with that girl, for, as a matter of fact, because it could be girl that comes about, or it could be with your current endeavors as well. The, the, the core here is not to panic, okay? Panicking, it will only force you to make a premature decision. Uh, sneeze alert. Oh my God. Ooh. So, <clears throat> Panicking is going to make you to do a premature decision and premature decision, whatever decision is, is going to be the wrong decision, okay? The only uh, accurate decision, regardless of if it's going to be yes or no, it will be a well thought and thoroughly um, analyzed, meticulously looked, if you will, a, uh, a decision making here. But one is certain for you cancer that the month of july for you the shaft is gonna fall into the hub Every go everything is gonna fall on its place uh in term of uh, in term of that person or in term of the field that that person comes about and offers you uh that job that helping hand that relationship or uh or whatever it may not it may it may not be what you have expected to be okay it may not correspond to your dreams but that will be the case only if your dreams and your expectations are very narrow. For example, your dream is to be with James rather than to be happy. Your dream is to work for, I don't know, Microsoft instead of being lucrative. Okay, so you got to be more broad with your dreams. Uh, and the more broader you are with your dreams, 
the less turmoil that person is going to bring into your life because there will be havoc there, right? Uh, when that um, offer or help comes about and you would not know what to do, uh, at least in the initial stage. But the more you wait, the more it's going to come to you and you're going to get the hang of it. And if you do wait long enough, cancer, at the end of the day, you pretty much are going to discover high potentials and um, how can I say the, the benefits even heretofore unexplored for you that is so let me gain control over my camera now and uh, another thing that I want to mention here it is that uh, we are not talking about crush okay crush and um, uh, pretty much a very spontaneous um, falling into uh, in love or very spontaneous and and clunky if you will I propositions are not what so what that person is defined with okay that person uh, comes with a, a very good place with their proposal uh, in a sense of that uh, there, there is nothing that uh, it is out of order there is nothing that it is not thoroughly thought so uh, it's pretty much a recipe for the future okay there is no uh, even a room for any kind of benefit of the doubt whenever that person divulges uh, their idea or their proposition or tells you why they want uh, to help you with whatever uh, with, with whatever they are going to help you uh, with. Another thing and one last thing I want to mention here it's um, I, and I really hate saying it because it relates to uh, medical conditions okay but uh, the cards are very strongly suggesting pregnancy as well so ladies uh, and for the majority of you that may be unwanted pregnancy so uh, ladies just uh, make sure that you do take any precautionary measures for it in case you do have active sexual life I'm pretty much uh, that that will be it that that's about it with uh, with the uh, with the reading Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you do enjoy it. Be on a, on, on a watch out for that uh, person which pretty much is going to um, open a wall, if you will, in, uh, in your life. And that uh, opening of a wall will be just another option available for you. Okay, And that, that is all that you need to look at it as as an, a, a new option available that does not constrain you to go necessarily with it but it is just a, a choice that you gotta make so yeah that being said that was your uh, general uh, monthly tarot reading for the month of july hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we are going to see each other next time until then bye